what if you could control your phone, your computer, even your car, just by your own thoughts? That's exactly what Elon Musk's company Neuralink is trying to do. Build a direct bridge between the human brain and machines. It sounds like science fiction, but there has been a good progress already. Neuralink has developed a tiny brain chip that connects directly to neurons through threads thinner than a human hair. These threads can read and transmit brain signals in real time. In 2024, their first human patient managed to move a computer cursor, even played chess using nothing but his own thoughts. For people with paralysis or spinal injuries, this is a potential game changer. It's not about replacing humans with machines, it's about restoring what's been lost. But Elon Musk's long-term vision goes far beyond medicine. He imagines a future where humans can merge with artificial intelligence, where your brain connects directly to the cloud. No keyboards, no screens, just your own thoughts. You could communicate instantly, learn new skills in seconds, maybe even share memories directly. It's the next evolution of humanity, blurring the line between mind and machine. But whenever we unlock a new level of power, new questions follow. Because when your brain connects to a computer, cybersecurity becomes deeply personal. Experts say it's theoretically possible for someone to hack or manipulate a brain interface. Maybe not to control thoughts, but to access or interfere with the data it sends. There's also the issue of mental privacy. If your neural data is being recorded, who owns it? Neuralink hasn't had any real hacking incidents, but experts warn the risk is real enough to demand strong safeguards. Also, as with any surgery inside the brain, there are risks of infection, scarring, or hardware failure, which are still being studied. Neuralink could help millions regain movement, vision, and independence, or even redefine human intelligence itself. But as we connect mind to machine, we have to ask, how much of you remains truly private? Will this be humanity's greatest upgrade or the start of a digital Pandora's box? The answer will depend not on the chip, but on how responsibly we use it. Thanks for watching.